Hello learners, welcome to the IITM student community channel. Today we will be solving IITM English Week 7 graded assignments. Subscribe and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So let us begin. So this is the graded assignment 7 of English. So in this assignment, we are supposed to listen to an audio and then answer the questions. Basically, these all are vocabulary based questions. So let us listen to the audio first. Okay. And before listening to the audio, let us read the question number one. What is that? So that whenever in the audio, we can see what it is being asked in question number one. We can stop and come back to answer. So the question number one is, most of us would consider the end of the human race as a. Okay, the answer is clear. But anyways, we will see and we will listen to the audio first. Let me refresh the page. The A to Z of isms, transhumanism. Most of us would consider the end of the human race as a catastrophe. Yeah, we will pause it. The most of us would consider the end of the human race as a catastrophe. So this will be the right answer. This is the wrong spelling of it. This is the right spelling. Okay, here we are supposed to check the question has been designed to check the spelling okay this is the pronunciation catastrophe 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 okay these are the syllables an event causing great and often sudden damage or suffering a disaster you can say that is a disaster one word disaster so this is the right spelling this is the wrong spelling okay all this so the second question states which word in the audio means to feel joy even without listening to the audio we can see the answers supersede means next one okay take the place whatever the next one supersede let supersede us, let us see the vocabulary and the pronunciation supersede take the place a person or a thing previously used in authority or use supplant vitality the state of being strong and active means energetic, full of energy. This is the right answer. Rejoice. 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 Feel also great joy or delight. And everyone knows the meaning of embrace. 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 Hold closely in one's arms, especially as a sign of affection. So what will be the right answer for this? To feel joy? rejoice okay we don't even need to see a listen to the audio anyways we will listen to it once again there are some however who will not only rejoice at it but want to hasten the day rejoice. the word has come here rejoice it arrives Tra okay we'll pause it and move to the next question the phrasal verb look forward to look forward to means what Definitely this one to eagerly wait, okay? To eagerly wait, not to search, not to take care of, or not, not to admit, okay? So this is the right answer. Replace diminish with a simpler word. Diminish everyone knows. It means to reduce. See the dictionary meaning and the pronunciation. Diminish. Diminish. Make or become less. Okay. Lament. Sorrow. Replace lament with a simpler word. See what is the meaning and the pronunciation. Lament. Lament. A passionate expression of grief or sorrow. A passionate expression of grief or sorrow. Okay. So we can replace it with cry. Reject won't be. Approve won't be. Satisfaction won't be. Okay. So these were just vocabulary based questions. Nothing else. This is the end of English graded assignment week 7. We can stop the session here. And I hope all of you 
are enjoying this way of learning phonetic based okay 